and the Nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam, he said, three types of people Allah will not accept from them, nothing that they perform as an act of worship. First of the three, al-aq, the person who is rude to his mother or to his parents, person who talks back, person who does not respect her, person who, he does not listen to his mother. That is the first person out of the their categories, who Allah would not accept anything from them, not salah, not sadaqah, not charity, not an act of worship, not of that, none of that. The second, he said, Al-Manan, and Al-Manan is the person who gives you something. Well look, I give you this, you know. Well I give you this and that. You should be grateful to me. And the third person is the person who sells his merchandise by saying, Wallahi, this is what I got. Wallahi, this is now much I paid for. And he did not pay for unacceptable, so we're not here to make fun of our mothers. But here we want to understand. I want you to understand the importance of your mother. Some of the mothers may... Little bit... Be... Funny, we agree. And I asked one of the brothers. I said what should I say? When he saw the title and he said we should say... Yo, your mother's is... She's so skinny that when your father found her... He thought this is African Miss Wak. But it's not the case some of the mothers by the way out of their love. They may treat their children in a little different way, little different way. They may see you as a young as you don't know anything, and you're always up to no good. But this is not because of any ill feelings that they have for you. Nope. This is because there is so much concern about you. So you gotta appreciate that. You gotta understand that. Some of the young people, however, try to be slick with their mothers, and they lie to them. Allahu Akbar. They lie to their parents, especially the mothers, who are trying to teach them something that is good Oregon. Keep them in line. Make them understand this is... I have experience. As a mother may say, I have experience, you don't. Follow me and do not do this. So they try to be slick, and they go places that they should not be going to. They go places that they should not be going to, and we know each other. And they talk to some people that they should not be talking to, like... I'm not going to say a boyfriend, because boyfriend is, is a very strong word, haram word, but just male friends, right? He's just a male friend. He has just a little facial hair, you know, his pants dragging, you know. He has no money, he's broke, you know. But he has a cell phone. And of course, when he's talking to you, he talks to you as though, mashallah, he has all the money. He wants to take you for Tim Hortons, mashallah, a lot of money. But you know, and then at the end of the month, you see him going to his mum, give me 10 cents, dollars, for the cell phone. I just a naff, and he only calls you after five o'clock. Because it's free, and you're talking to his person, and your mother tells you who you talking to, and what do we say? And then she would say, you know, why she is talking so deep. She sounds like a boy. And then you say, no, no, mum, she's sick, she has a cold.